we think of money, we always think about the good things it can bring instead of the problems it's brought. In 1535, ancient Native Americans demonstrated wealth and power by arranging ceremonial gatherings called potlucks. The bigger and more colorful the celebration, the higher reputation for that tribe and leader. These potlucks were almost a form of payment to return any loose debt not yet acquired and an ancient form of ritualistic inductions into famed hunting parties. Jealousy then factored into the mix and rival tribes began trying to out-celebrate their brothers and instead of peace and tranquility, violence came about. Not long after, gatherings turned to festivals and celebration evolved into competition. An example of how the constant stress of simply having more is the only thing that can destroy everything. Today, our financial downfall will be a line of credit. Money owed is not the problem. Money owed that cannot be paid back is. The average American household owner owns 16,140 in credit card debt, 155,361 in mortgage debt, and 31,946 on student loans debt. Overall, Americans owe $11.85 trillion to our very own banks. A solution? The only solution there is. The banks have to pay us back, which will never happen, no matter anybody's lifespan. In order to stall the downfall, the debt must be cleared. It must be cleared on the debt collector's side in order to make reparations. How to do this? I don't have enough money to answer that question. Thank you.